Okay, all right, let's get started. Yeah, all right. so today in this video, I'm going to share you about the things of how to do a scholar mate. First, how to do a scholar mate. Next, how to punish a scholar. So first, let's get started. Uh, we can see how to execute or how to start a scholar mate. It starts with e4, e5, queen f3. Now here, black should not play knight f6 or something like b6 or developing moves. Instead, here, assume that if your opponent uh, is newbie or someone who doesn't uh, have any experience in chess, you can try scholar mid against them. Like the, uh, you know, uh, the players who don't play chess uh, or they are not only they are starting chess, they might play a6 or b6, anything else. Whatever they play, we are going to stick out with your idea of playing bishop c4 because this is the most order for the scholar mate. After this move, they will play some random move, like they should play something random which we should not disturb the f7 f7 because the main idea of the scholar mate is to mate on uh, f7 by playing queen into f7. So whatever black plays move here, whatever black plays here, we whatever the black plays here, uh, it should not protect the f7. Such a way is, for example, queen e7, knight h6, or knight f6. Um, yeah, these are the possible moves. Or f6. So if they play any one of the four moves, f6, knight h6, or queen e7, or uh, knight a6, scholar mate is not possible. Instead of that, if they playing some random moves like knight a6, queen into f7 is a scholar mate. Okay, this is the one way of doing scholar mate. The other way is to play e4, e5. Here, instead of playing queen f3, now white play interesting move, queen h5. For queen h5, if black plays knight c6, that is the best move in this position. But if they play some random move like a6, we can play same. We, we don't need to capture this pawn. Instead, we can play bishop to c4. Same idea. If they try to attack the bishop like this, only players who are getting started in chess. They will play such a move. If they think that they are attacking the bishop, but they don't realize that they are going to get checkmated in the next move. So this is the um, idea or pattern how to execute a scholar mate. But I'm strongly recommending students or players not to try scholar mate in tournaments. You should not try scholar mate in tournaments because uh, the players in the tournament will everyone know how to punish a scholar mate because in tournament players like most of them will play like chess like one year more than one year or uh, above six months so it's extremely important not to take scholar mate against opponents in the tournament if someone accidentally tries scholar mate in tournament against you now this trick will work for you okay so scholar uh, you know how the scholar mate starts yeah scholar mate starts with uh, queen f3 first you can see queen h5 queen h5 okay so <coughs> for queen h5 we should play knight uh, c6 if they play queen f3 uh, okay mm, instead of uh, knight c6 after that if white plays bishop c4 uh, thinking that they are threatening a checkmate actually they are threatening a serious checkmate here we should play accurate move if, they, if we play something like knight f6 Queen into h7 is a checkmate, so we should not play this. Instead, what can we do? Instead, here the best only possible move is to play g6. After that, they will again threaten us by playing queen f3. So again, they are threatening to checkmate. Again, they are threatening to checkmate on f7. So here, how should uh, how should we uh, block the checkmate on f7? The only way to block the checkmate on f7 is to play knight f6 which is a logical developing move. you should play logical developing move so that you can punish the scholar mate of your opponent so here if your opponent plays something like um, g4 it, this move has some uh, bad intentions bad intention bad intention means uh, white is planning to play g5 in the next move trying to remove the defender the, uh, this concept is called as removing the defender if knight goes somewhere else this, that will be a check but here we can play interesting move. Uh, knight d4 is very interesting move. You know why? Because uh, knight d4 is attacking the queen as well as we are threatening for a fourth. They don't have any option rather to play this move. After they play this move, we can play knight into e4. Now we are very very comfortable and we can develop the position. 
So this is how we can punish a scholar. Here after after this move, black is completely winning. Even if we on the engine, where is the engine? Yeah. Even if we on the engine, it so shows like minus two point, minus three point. We nearly were win, uh, winning a piece. Okay. So this is the way to punish a scholar. Uh, thank you thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe my video thank you